Hey everyone, it's me, Eric Kimball, and in this video I am going to show you how to safely and properly drill large diameter holes or small diameter holes in steel, bar stock, thick steel. I'm making this video because of an email I received, and I'll read it to you. Hey there, I purchased the plans to make the Planet Whizbang wheel hoe. I just got all the metal pieces in from Speedy Metals. I have access to a shop with a drill press at the school I work at. However, when I brought the metal into the shop, the person who runs the shop was concerned about the safety of drilling holes in 3 16 inch steel. This is 3 16 inch steel. It's mild steel. This was a uh, tire arm, I called it, for the wheel hose, the Planet Whizbang wheel hose. I'm gonna show you how to safely and properly drill a hole half inch diameter in this material. Now I wanna tell you that when I was a kid, I did not have a father who showed me how to do any of this stuff. My stepfather was a good man. He was a hard worker, but he'd had no uh, mechanical skills to speak of. I didn't have a grandfather alive that could show me or an uncle or anything like that. I grew up without YouTube videos. Can you imagine that? That I had to kind of learn on my own. One of the things that helped me when I was a teenager, 16, 17, somewhere in there, was uh, this book right here, Shop Work on the Farm. This was uh, published in 1945. And I believe it was a kind of a textbook for high school shop class. It tells how to drill holes properly and safely in bar stock. It tells you how to fix harness. It tells you how to do blacksmithing. It, it's just, it's got it all in here. This is how I learned how to drill holes in metal. Like I'm going to show you. Number one, you, well, you want to wear safety glasses, right? Okay. Uh, let me tell you a quick story. I have a friend I used to work for his family on a farm when I was a kid. And a few years ago, he was drilling with, uh, I think it was like a 1 8 inch diameter drill bit. It was a small diameter. He was drilling in metal. I don't think the bit was very sharp. He was pushing on it and it broke. And the uh, part that broke went into his eye, literally into his eye. He didn't have safety glasses on. He didn't have glasses of any kind on. Obviously not good. So, right, safety glasses. Next, you want to clamp the metal down. Now, I'm going to show you how to drill without a drill press. I have a drill press. And if you have a drill press, you clamp it to the table, okay, securely. And then you can work the drill. If your drill press has one of these drill press vices, all the better. The next thing that you want to do, in fact, what you want to do before you clamp it securely, is you want to take a pin punch and mark where you want your hole to be. So I'm going to show you now what you need to know about marking with a punch that I learned from this old book. I'm just going to mark with a pencil here the center and we'll say we want to drill our hole right there. I have a pin punch right here. Pin punch has a point on it. I'm going to set that right on there. Okay and then I'm going to grab my hammer and I'm going to give it light tap. Light tap. A couple light taps. And I'm going to look at it and make sure it's right where I want it, okay? And it's it's not, it's a little off to the side. So what you can do is angle your pin punch a little bit and get it, uh, get it over there. Or, or you can take your ball peen hammer like that and kind of fill in the hole, you know? Peen it over and start again. So now that I've got it where I want it, I'm gonna give it a harder wrap like I just did. And I'm gonna bring in another pin punch that's a little bit bigger and I'm gonna really wrap it, okay? So I've got a good a pin punch right there. It's not just a little teeny pin punch. It's a, it's a decent, deep, nice pin punch. That's important. So I'm going to use a Brother Workmate here because the lighting is better. And what we want to do is put a piece of scrap wood under and we're going to clamp this securely. Whatever way you can come up with, you need to clamp it securely. These are Hansen clamps. They're self-adjusting. So we're good. See that? What I'm going to do here is uh, drill a small hole first. This is a 3 16 inch hole. Uh, I want to end up with a half, but I'm going to start with a, with a small bit first. And I'm going to use thread cutting oil, okay? Uh, I could just as easily and just as well use regular handy oil. Or, according to the 1945 uh, book, 
you can use uh, lard as a cutting uh, lubricant. So I'm going to get into the very nice large pin punch. Then I'm going to put a little bit of this cutting oil and I'm going to start slow. And this is important. We're going to keep the RPMs low. You do not drill through metal at a high speed. And I, I hope you can see this, this beautiful little curl of metal that came up there. That's what you want. You go slow, you watch for the curl. And as you get near the end, the drill bit will grab. So you, look at that curl. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see that? You drill in into my scrap piece there. We should be just about there. Put a little more Earl on there. You gotta take your time and we're through. I'm going to, see there's our hole. Next I'm going to go for the half inch drill bit. These drill bits are Harbor Freight, uh, basic drill bits. I didn't tell you that, but 21 piece titanium. I think uh, it says titanium and that maybe there's some titanium, but these are basic inexpensive drill bits. High speed steel, that's, that's all you need, but you want a sharp bit. That's the important part. And a drill press would be better here, but we're gonna make it happen with a hand drill. Getting it started is a little tough. It might grab. So you just, you want to uh, just be aware of that and be careful and get her started. Okay, keep the oil on there and go slow. That's a big hole, half inch for a hand drill. But we're getting nice chips there. With a drill press, you can have a more steady and even pressure. See a little smoke coming up there? Now, I'm not necessarily pushing down hard all the time. I'm kind of holding up and then going down. trying to control this speed. Okay, now we're near the end, it wants to grab. So I'm going to uh, get my RPMs up and go in slow. There we go. And we have a nice, a very nice hole right there. Okay. I have a bit that will uh, chamfer that right there that will clean that up. But there you go, hand drilling. Now I'm going to show you the drill press. And instead of using my uh, drill press vise right here, which would be ideal, I'm going to use this board. I've secured my bar stock to the board with a pan head screws and washers, okay? And I've, I'm gonna drill my hole right here. I've got a well-defined punch. Now what I'm gonna do next is get this hole directly under the uh, drill bit in my drill press and I'm gonna clamp this to my drill press table. All right, here's an overall view. You can see that this board right here is securely clamped on both ends of the drill press table which happens to be an old kitchen cabinet door, which is bolted to the, the drill presses table. So I'm secure. That's not going to rise up. It's not gonna move sideways. I'm ready to drill. I'm gonna put a little fluid on there, turn her on. I'm not pushing hard, I'm just touching down. You can see the curly cues coming up there. So much easier with the drill press. And we should be just about through. 
And we are. This is the half inch bit. We'll get her in there good and tight. We'll give it lots of oil. And we will go again here. Now I'm gonna go down, just touch it and come up. You can see the chips coming up there. I'm not going straight down through. I'm letting the bit cut it. A little at a time. Yeah, look at that. Whoop, we're getting the smoke, but look at that. Nice. You get a feel for this when you do it. Pull up to let it cool. We're just about through. There's wood showing, okay? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now you know, if you didn't already know, how to drill holes, large holes, half inch is a pretty good size, in bar stock. 3 16 in this instance. You can do it by hand, but it is a whole lot easier with the drill press. Keep the speed low, keep it lubricated, clamp your work, make a good center or pin punch for your bit to center into and wear your safety glasses and you will uh, have a good experience doing this. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.